Weapons Training Battalion's mission is to enhance lethality of individual Marines all the way across the force. We do this primarily by hosting the Combat Marksmanship Symposium, where we collect the requirements from the marksmanship community of interest. And from that marksmanship community of interest, we identify the requirements and we identify solutions. One such topic that came up was to address the lethality capability gap. What I mean by that is to enhance Marines' lethality under the conditions when the Marine is moving, when the target is moving, when there's multiple targets, when targets are unknown distances. We identified the requirement and we developed a solution called the Annual Rifle Qualification Three-Day Course of Fire. Through FY19, we tested this as much as we could across the Marine Corps. We gathered about 226 data points from which the Marine Corps operational testing and evaluation activity determined that this is a valid course of fire and it provides a valid tool from which Marine commanders can assess the level of lethality in their Marines and in their units. The qualification is broken down into basically three parts. So what you have is a long range, a short range, and then a night portion. So the long range is 500, 300, and 200 uh, distances. The short range is considered 100 and in, and then the night portion is 100 and in. For the actual qual day, for days two and day three are the same course of fire. What they're gonna do is they're gonna start up at the 500 yard line. The 500 yard line, there are gonna be eight iterations of five rounds. Each one of those iterations start from the standing, goes into a supported prone. And they have 45 seconds to engage five rounds from standing to prone. When you're talking about supported prone, the Marines are able to utilize five pods if it's on the weapon system. They're able to put their magazine on the deck, or if they have a backpack on their back, they can employ it as long as they're underneath the timeline. That's at the 500. Now they move into the 300. They can choose from standing to prone. Then at the 200 is when we start implementing barricades. So from there, they can either shoot from a standing, kneeling, or supporting. So what the Marines are able to do is they're able to choose which position they want to engage the actual targets in. Now at the 200, there's also movers. The movers are done in the pits, very similar to what we do currently on table two. Now then we move into the actual uh, short bay portion of the range, 100. Again, we have barricades. From there, they're gonna go into the 25. They're gonna take a headshot on the target that you see behind me. And then they move in um, shooting on the move and different drills, such as a box drill or fail to stop drills. And then closing in on the target. After the day portion is done, then they're gonna move into the night portion. The night portion is done from 100 and in. The same course of fire that the Marines have done from the 100 and in for the day qualification is what happens at night underneath MVGs and laser aiming devices. The way we intend to score this is determining a minimum qualification threshold in all three of those events. Very similar to the way the CFT and the PFT are scored, a Marine must achieve a minimum standard in each of those three events to qualify in the overall course of fire. This new annual rifle qualification Contact. course of fire falls squarely in line with the 38th Commandant's planning guidance. For every Marine to be more lethal, and for every Marine and every small unit to create disproportionately large effects on the battlefield.